At just 29 years of age, Simon Playford is wise beyond his years, with a deep sense of community and a belief in justice, born out of his childhood in Pittsworth and an insight to tragedy at a young age. In 2001, uh, my father passed away from heart disease and it was sudden and the family was sort of impacted greatly um, by that loss. Um, although I was quite young at the time, um, it was really difficult sort of growing up. But what that meant or what, what sort of that experience um, was lightened by, and that was Pittsworth and that was the, the community that gathered around our family, that supported us um, and supported my mum as a single mother um, throughout all those formative years. So there's a level of indebtedness that I feel to Pittsworth because of everyone's support. And I think that really sort of showed me that this, this place where you grow up or this place or this community where you are right now, it's sort of what you make it and, and sort of what you give to it um, in which what it gives back to you. It's these experiences that underpinned Simon's desire to pursue a legal career, enrolling at the University of Southern Queensland in 2011. My first day on campus was such a, such a great experience um, and so enriching, enriching I guess. Um, you had orientation day, you had so many stalls, you had a, a variety of people that were already there that were willing to make friends and um, sort of connect with you. So walking onto campus, I was sort of blown away by this ecosystem of um, people and students and they're all there to learn and they're all there to connect with one each other. So that was in itself a, a great experience because it brought me back to the community point. It brought me back to being at home and that, that sense of belongingness and purpose. So there was a few different points in time that, you know, I was participating in the student guild out there um, and was made sort of the student body president, which then helped me to, I guess, gain access to the university itself. Um, and how it works and the academic boards and student services, just so I could represent the students as much as possible. Uh, but then you've got sort of this other element where it unlocked you know, uh, job opportunities for me, where I first you know, got uh, a law clerk position. Simon's career took off fast, from being made associate to heading up a new law division representing startup businesses and more recently representing multinational companies. But his desire to give back at a grassroots level drew him to take an in-house role with the Heart Foundation based in Brisbane this year. Having started or working for an organisation that is a not-for-profit, it sort of very much aligned my passion with sort of helping people and that sense of community that I've sort of grown up with. And it sort of has taken that passion and that enjoyment that it gives and moved it into, okay, I have a law degree, I practice as a lawyer, um, and it sort of combines them both. And, and that, that combination is so effective and it gives me so much joy in my day-to-day -day life. Simon's commitment to giving back goes beyond the boardroom. To date, he's volunteered significant time to the Toowoomba Chamber of Commerce and Mental Health Services for young people in the LGBTQI community. He's also been involved with the Queensland Law Society, as well as the Law Council of Australia's Young Lawyers Committee. What would young Simon think of me today? <laughs> uh, I've really been able to steer a ship in the direction that, for me, is where my passions lie. And I think that's the, that's the most rewarding thing a five or, or a young person could see of them, their older self is that they've been able to have a fulfilling life um, no matter what but pursued relentlessly their passions and stuck by their values. And I think that's what five-year-old Simon would probably think is shocked, surprised but also very, very proud and love this person who he's turned into. Congratulations, Simon Playford, the 2022 University of Southern Queensland Young Alumnus of the Year. 